Universal Pictures finally dropped the first How to Train Your Dragon live action trailer and today we are going to be reacting to it. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyle. I'm your guy with many YouTube channels. So, what I've heard from this trailer, I wanted to save it for video. I have not seen it yet. What I've heard is that we may have been worrying a little bit too much about this not continuing with the animated story. Let's see how it looks. And right off the bat, five seconds in, the, the scenery is pretty good. <laughs> it looks great. When you carry this axe. Man, Hiccup's dad looks pretty solid too. That looks great. You carry all of us with you. Dad, I can't kill dragons. Now here's the problem. It's Hiccup. Hiccup's the issue for me. You have a character that is so established with such a voice, such a presence... I have a very difficult time seeing another hiccup. The dragons look good so far. They look really, really nice. The Vikings look great. The scenery's great. I'm a Viking. I'm a Viking. And I, I hope it doesn't come off like I'm, I have anything against the actor whatsoever. It's just like, it's the issue of retaking over an actor and uh, especially a character in, a, in an animated film that's so beloved that is so established. Tooth looks, looks good so far. The eyes are nice. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me let me backtrack that just a second. He kind of looks the same, but it fits in the live action. Strange, very very strange. The music choice is interesting. It's okay. I won't hurt you. Yeah, tooth or, or, uh, hiccups throwing me off. That's the problem. And I wish, I, I wish it was a new story. I'd be able to get behind this if it was like a brand new story, but it's just a remake, an unnecessary remake. That's my issue with it. Everything else looks okay though. So far, maybe we've been complaining for no reason. Ooh, a change up in the music. Ooh. Okay, hang on. I, I I like that theme. I like the theme. I like the spin on it. And it looks like there's going to be nothing else behind that. Yes, you know what? I get why everybody's been talking about this trailer. I still stand by it being unnecessary. I still stand by on potentially ruining the image of the first How to Train Your Dragon. There's no point in just redoing it. I would love for them to continue a story. Or even if they just wanted to take the exact same concept and make a new story from it. I'd be totally on board with that. The problem is I'm watching something that I already hold near and dear to my heart and I love so much that I'm watching the same thing, but it's definitely not going to be as good. And I know I'm going to go into it with an open mind. I will. But at the same time, I just, I'm being realistic in knowing myself and how I like movies, How to Train Your Dragons, in my opinion, the one of the, if not the greatest trilogy of all time. There's no way you could possibly stack up to it. But hey, it might be good. So far, so good for the trailer. Let me know what you thought about it down below. Thank you for watching, everybody. Check out this video on screen right now, talking more about how to train your dragon and the worries that we have going into it. I'll take you, I'll see you over there, guys. Take care.